Good morning and welcome to Rip and Tour on Dartmoor, where this morning we're going to be doing two things. We're obviously going to capture some landscape photographs, but I'm also going to share with you what I think the secret is to making a successful landscape photography YouTube video. So what is the key to a successful landscape photography YouTube video? Well, I'm going to tell you later on in the video, but I'll give you a clue just now. It's something that Nigel Danson, Simon Baxter and Thomas Heaton all have in common. Can you guess what it is? Right, as always with my videos, let's do the most important thing, which is to capture some landscape photographs. Now, conditions this morning are pretty interesting. It was forecast for fog. Now, unlike the other day when I came up here and it was forecast for fog and there was absolutely nothing at all. And I also made a bit of a mistake with that one. I left a little bit too early. I was waiting for the sun to break through the clouds. I was sure it wasn't going to happen. And then sure enough, halfway down the hill and it broke through. I've got some nice light. So I'm not making that mistake today. I've got a bit more time. So when I drove up to Rip and Tor and I came round by Hay Tor the, this morning, I could see there was some fog down in the lower valley and it was quite thick. And I was really tempted not to come up here but to capture the fog down there. But also there was a nice bit of red sky over towards the sea there. So I thought I'll stick to my guns and I'll come up here. Now there's gonna be a couple of challenges this morning. First of all, there's a lot of fog out at the sea. So the sun, which is just about to peak above the horizon now, um, might not give me the light that I want. It's gonna be quite late. In fact, yeah, it's just coming through now actually. I'm gonna to have to speed up and carry on talking because otherwise I'm gonna miss the light. I'm actually glad I didn't go down to the fog because the fog has started to clear, the wind's picked up, so I don't think I would have got any shots here, so I still think this is the best place to be. But yeah, I really must go now. I've got to stop talking and capture some landscape photographs. Well, I've got all the composition set up now. The light is just starting to hit the ground. Looks really nice. Go take the shot. Check the focus. Oh yeah, really happy with that. I think that shot's come out really well, but there's one thing I learned a few weeks back uh, when I make a decision to take a vertical orientation shot is to also take the landscape version. I'm pretty sure the vertical works better, but I'm gonna take the landscape one anyway. Okay, that's that shot bagged. It's just important because you never know when you get back and you're at home and you view your images slightly differently. I think it's important to have both versions if you think either one of them is gonna work. So I've dropped down the hill a little bit from my previous composition because I've seen this clump of grasses here and with the sun just breaking above the horizon and giving me all that golden light, it's just catching the top of those grasses and I think it looks really nice. Now I'm going to shoot this scene very wide, probably near, yeah, it's nearly 14 there because I want to get all the grass in and I want to kind of get this circular row of rocks as it kind of pans round the edge of the grasses there, it leads out into the foreground rocks and then out onto Hato. Unfortunately, there's not much in the way of sky at the moment. Well, of course, there's sky. It's not much in the way of clouds, as you say. Um, so though it's a vertical orientation shot, I'll probably crop it four to five in post. But let's take the shot. Check it's focused. Exposure's right. Shutter. Two second timer. Have a look at that. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. As before, I'm also going to take the landscape orientation shot as well. And as always, in the comments below, please do let me know which versions you prefer. Right, we're finished with the photograph. Sun is well and truly up now. I've had the best of light. Now, I would now like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Monty. Monty here is my Welsh working Cocker Spaniel, and he is the key to a successful landscape photography YouTube video. Because if you watch Simon and Nigel and Thomas, 
their dogs have featured in their videos and that's obviously the key to making them successful. Okay, obviously I'm joking. What I really wanted to do in this video is actually to introduce you to Monty because he's gonna be featuring in a few more videos. He's 18 months old now and he's been out with me quite a few times in Dartmoor, been out help taking me photographs. And I think he's um, he's gonna come out with me on a, on a regular basis now. He's such, such good company, it's my first dog. Not that I ever really wanted to get a dog, but now that I've got one, I can't imagine can't imagine life without me such good company so yeah do expect to see Monty in a few more videos he's a good boy you're a good boy aren't you I do hope you've enjoyed this little five minute photo adventure and of course I hope you've enjoyed meeting Monty as well and if you have please do consider hitting that like button leaving me a comment and of course giving the video a share and if you've got an extra few minutes as well I'll include a link for some of my other five minute photo adventures in the corner of the screen there but until the next one I'll see you then